Hello guys. Hi, how you doing? So, so today we are, my wonderful, wonderful mother is going to be asking us questions that, about our dad. Say hi. <laughs> hi. And, so, and I hope you please she like. She will not be on camera much. Please like, subscribe to this channel. Thank you and have a very pleasant day. Now, turn it over to our mother. Yes, our, mo it. our mother. What is the first question? Gabe. Yes. What is one thing that you love the most about your dad? Mm. That he's caring. That he's caring. Trey. What is one important lesson that you have learned from watching your father? Hmm. Well, it's one important one? I mean, there's a lot of them. Really. Um... One important lesson. I guess that's that would be appreciate being appreciative for what you do have instead of wishing what you don't wishing for what you don't. If that makes sense. Okay. If you understand how that works. Gabe. Okay. I've heard you say time and time again that you would like to be like your dad. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's a because because he's a very great example to follow. He shows us he shows things that we should and not we should and should not do. Hobie. Don't mind me. Try. I'm still on the camera, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. What is that like? What is your favorite memory, or what is one of your favorite memories of you and your dad? When he taught me how to ride a dirt bike when I was four. I uh, still ran into the side of the uh, SUV. <laughs> <laughs> A little fun fact. And then I fell off of it, and he and I said I wouldn't get back on, but he threatened me, and I got back on. <laughs> <laughs> that is a true story. Not badly threatened. He just said he was going to whoop me if I didn't get back on it since he paid all that money for it. I've only been mm -hmm. on it like one time. <laughs> but anyway, next question. <laughs> Okay, this next question is for both of you, and you can answer it any way you choose to answer it. <coughs> what is something that you don't tell your that you would think that you don't tell your daddy enough of? How how kind of how, he how, is? Like how great how like how great of a person he is. How greatly kind he is. Like how, like how he cares for people that he may not have known long, but like he's known them for years. Like, say, say, I, I he didn't know me. He didn't know me. He had only known me for like a few months, and he had known this other person for almost his whole life. And he would be as nice to caring to the person to me as he's only known for a few months, as to where he'd be the same with the person that he'd known almost his whole life. What is your favorite thing to do with your dad, Gabe? Shoot guns. <laughs> <coughs> Family channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of your coming. Oh, you smacked in the head too many times today. <laughs> if you want to get smacked in the head more, keep your smart comment though. <laughs> she can edit. Good. Inside the point. 
I just got my head nearly screwed. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mess up on the door. Um, what's the next question? Do either one of you think that you would be a different person if it wasn't her father? Yes. I do, actually. So you're saying <coughs> that with him being your daddy, that he has pretty much made you who you are? Yeah, yes, that is very that's true. true. Yes, that is I very true. I would say that, yes. Very, very true. I would say that. <laughs> do you consider him just your daddy, or do you consider him like a dad and a friend? I would say both. I would say both. Yes, both. Both because he, cause he, he is father. He is a father at the times he needs to be, and then a friend when it, it when he needs to be. He's a father that, that, uh, most like all the time, and then a friend when he needs to be, like what he said. I just said it differently. Now, what are your thoughts whenever? Knowing the fact that your dad is a veteran. Like, what do you mean? Like, how does that make you feel knowing that he is who he is because he was a veteran? I mean, I think it's a great thing. Yeah. Really, because, mm -hmm. I mean, it not only could teach us things, but it has, I think, like, I think it's bettered him as a person. Yeah. If oh, is this one boy? Both of you. Okay. Hi. How? Let's see here. It sounds like I have a word. It. Okay, I'll come back. Then. Trey. Uh, okay. If money. Was no subject. Like, uh, uh, if money didn't matter, like, yeah. I had as much as I wanted. Right. Okay. What is the first thing you would go out and buy your dad? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of different things that I can get him because I know that he likes like some military stuff and then other Okay, things. but if you could think of one thing. Hmm. I would probably... Either like pay for his like knees and back surgeries or whatever, because I know those are hurting him a lot, and I don't like seeing him right now because he doesn't have like the energy that he used to. That's probably what I do. I mean, I know it would help him in the long run, and I know he doesn't like. Like, like he's trying to hold off on the surgeries and stuff, but I mean, kind of gotta have money to get him. So that's probably what I do. Gabe, since Trey's getting him um back and knee surgery, I'm gonna get him what he's always wanted. What? I'm gonna get him a tank. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I was gonna say, a tank. <laughs> I thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> you got the surgery try, I'll get him a tank <laughs> of his choosing. Well, hey, after he has the surgery, he has to get in and out of tank. Yeah, that's true. It's very and true. He, he won't be hurt. That's <laughs> very true. And it can be, and it can be, uh, and I'll do it as a gift <coughs> for doing well on his surgery. <laughs> be like a homecoming present. Yeah. Exactly. A get well present. There yeah. you go. Hell. Like, That'd be the best you may be able to number. Yeah. Uh, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 
<laughs> Another thing I'd probably buy him is his dream truck. I'd let him go to the Ford place, customize it, make it. It wants a wrap there. And then I'll, then I'll put then I'll give him the money and tell him make it. Let me know to pick it up. <laughs> give him money and tell him money and tell him something. Hey. And then whenever it's ready, call me. And not, and there's one more thing I'd probably do. What's that? Take him to the gun store and let him pick it up. God. Have anything you want. Yep. Yep. No, we'll get you a U-Haul truck. <laughs> yeah, get a U-Haul. Nah, I need this dish. I'm going to him the U-Haul truck because I know it'll be a lot of. I know it'll be a lot of guns, Ooh. but hey, I got money. I, hey, I, money's no problem. I mean, hmm. might as well. <clears throat> Gabe. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, mother. What is one thing that you would like your dad to know? Huh? Mm, I gotta think on that one. Can we come back? Can you ask him and let me think? Yeah. Can we do that, please? Because I need to think. Hey, Trey. Um, I mean, there's a lot of different things with like him, but like, like just one really important thing. Just like one really important thing. I think that I'd like for him one thing. That I think I'd like for him to know is like whenever he like I've needed help or anything or when I've been like feeling down and whatnot he's one of the people that's always been there and helped me when I needed it when I didn't feel like I was gonna do anything. I didn't feel like I could. I mean, I want, I want him, I want, that would be one of the things I wanted to know is that he's really the only person that's always been there and always helped me whenever he could when I needed it the most. That's it. So he's kind of being like your motivation. Yeah. Kind of. Because he's, cause he's always told me, you know, this kind of thing might not happen to everybody is it now, but it may at some point. It may not. You never know. But I think it is because he's told me when I've gotten like that. I mean, it's just, it's a come and go thing. I mean, it'll come on for a little while and then it'll go by. And when I felt like that, he told me, hey, uh, don't like give up or anything. Like, don't give up. You can do, like, you can do it. You just gotta believe in yourself that you're, that you're able to. You just have to believe in yourself. That's what I want to know. Gabe, have you got I would, uh, One thing I would tell my dad is, is, his, is, is that, his, that his health problems is not a setback to any of us. It ain't his fault he had those. He went overseas. He did, he seen stuff, seen stuff. So, his, so his, it ain't his fault he got what he got. It's because of being over there that he got medications, that he got the health problems he don't. And he isn't, and I don't like him feeling like his medic, his health problems is a setback. Yes, I like that too because he'll get in these moods sometimes where he feels like he's letting everybody down. When he's because, really not. Yeah, when he's really not because he thinks that his health problems and stuff is like... It's like something, it's, it's like, like a burden. Thanks yeah, it's like a burden to everybody, but, but it's really not because he, he can't really help the fact that he, would got, that he has those because he's went overseas and seen stuff that some people could never even imagine seeing. Like, 
a day in, never a day in their life would they ever imagine, imagine imagine seeing anything even close to that. I mean, it might happen in a movie, but in a movie, it's nothing like the real thing. Movies, movies, movies are only ideas of, of what? what really goes on. Yeah. Because in movie, you can't show everything. You only see certain stuff. You own. Um, you see everything when you're there. And when there, you do it for real. And then when you go through it yourself. And then you'll know. Through like life and whatnot. Okay. Last question. What is the question, mother? <laughs> With everything that he has taught you and everything that you have learned and everything else. Do you, do you hope that you will be that same kind of person as you continue to grow up? Yes, yes, because he, te he teaches us lessons because he does it not to be mean. He does it because it will prepare us and set us up for the real world. He does it so we'll be ready. And we won't end up doing very bad in the world. Yes. Like, we won't end up doing, like... Stupid stuff. And doing then, stupid stuff. And, and end up in prison. Up, like, and prison or something like that. Because he doesn't want to see us like that. Mm -mm. I mean, he didn't... That didn't happen to him. I mean... I've always heard, I don't know, I don't know because I'm not a parent or whatever, but I've always heard that the parents, that parents want better for their kids they growing did. up than what they had. <clears throat> I don't know how true that is because I'm not a parent, but I've heard and he's only doing it to teach us so we don't have to learn. Like he's teaching us the easy way instead of us going out and learning it the hard way. Mm -hmm. So we don't make stupid decisions yeah, and wind up with serious um, punishments or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I'm going to say something. Okay. <clears throat> Am I clear? And now... I'm just going to throw in a little something, and I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Nine times out of ten, I'm probably going to cry, and it's okay. Yes. <laughs> but I have been married three times. I have been divorced twice. I did not think that a husband could teach a wife so many things. But I will have to say that my husband, he has taught me a lot of things. He has taught me not only to try to believe in myself more than what I have, in the past, but he has also helped me in more ways than I could ever imagine. He takes pride in me. I could be wearing, I could be walking around in the house with a pair of shorts on and a t-shirt and my hair up on top of my head, freshly out of bed, and I guarantee it, if you was to look at him, he would, and ask him about his wife, he would look at you and he would tell you that I was still the most beautiful woman that he had ever laid eyes on. I asked him the other night, I said, why don't you look at other women 
And his answer, I was not ready for it. Because he looked at me and he said, why do I need to look <clears throat> at another woman when I have you? He said that I was beautiful. He said that I was sexy. He said that I was intelligent. And he said that I helped him more than I could ever imagine. So, honey, I want to tell you that you have not only taught Gabe and Trey some lessons, but you've taught me some, too. And I love you. And I hope you enjoyed our little video. Thank you, baby. Hey, bestie. Um, bet you're surprised to see me on this video, huh? Um, I decided to edit this a little bit, and I wanted to say something to you, too. Um, I've known Elizabeth for, God, too long. No, since about 99, I think. And I've seen her with, you know, boys... I call them boys because most of them were. Um, I've seen her, you know, start off really happy in a relationship and then end up miserable. I've seen her, you know, happy on the outside and miserable on the inside. And when she, you know, when she started talking to you, you know, she swore that you were different. And I laughed, of course, because I'd heard that before. Um, but then I got to meet you. And I was like, you know what? I think this guy really is different. Um, you know, I got kind of close to her last husband. But it wasn't as close as I got to you. You know, not only did she gain a husband and two stepchildren, but I gained a best friend and two nephews. And I want to thank you for that. Because, you know, not only do I love you, but I love your children. You know, they're two of the most awesome kids, you know. And that has a lot to do with you, you know, being their father. Um, you know, I want to thank you for coming into her life and taking care of her, you know, and showing her how a woman should be treated. But I also want to thank you for being in my life because, you know, you have always been so good to me. And it's not because you buy me stuff, you know, because I've told you, you don't have to do that. You know, but you always do. And you always tell me that... You can buy me whatever you want to because it's your money. So, but I just want you to know, Bestie, that no matter what happens, I'm going to be here for you no matter what. You know, and nothing's ever going to change that. And I love you. And I hope that this video makes you realize how, you know, how important you are to us and how much you mean to us and how much we love you. So, with that being said, we love you, Bestie.